Hey Cancers, welcome or welcome back to the Cancer Hand Vibe. I am she, the Boss Lady B. Thank you so, so, so much for joining me, you guys. I wanted to hop in really quick and take care of some angel messages. We're going to see what your angels want you to know presently, urgently, what they've been trying to tell you, show you. Um, let's get a little insight around that. No matter where you have cancer in your chart, the readings on this channel can resonate with you. So definitely make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell if you are interested in cancer readings because that's all you're going to get. Alrighty. Check out the description box for all the Im important information that you may want to know, you guys. But let's get into these angel messages what message thank you spirit clear accurate messages for my lovely cancerians what message does cancer's angels want us to know so we got look no need to worry i feel like you may be um there's something that you're juggling or there's something that you're going back and forth and it may feel like 50-50. Like it could really go one or two ways and it's really 50-50. Like split down the middle 50-50. Um, and you are a little worried about which way it'll go. But Spirit is letting you know, look, there is no need to worry, okay? Everything is going to work out in your favor. You are going to receive a yes. I feel like um, maybe someone is applying for something. Maybe like a apartment, a house, um, a credit card even. There's something that you're applying for and you're worried about your rejection status or like receiving some type of no or it not working out. But Spirit is saying, look... You don't even have to be concerned about that right there, okay? It's it, that's all being worked out for you. There's no need to worry there. And additionally, if there is something um, outside of that, you know that you are concerned or worried about, spirit is letting you know there's there's no need, okay? Worrying really gets you nothing but more worry, but more headache, okay? Let's see what else comes out. What message do you have for Cancer Spirit? So, yeah, look, there's definitely, I feel the energy of anxiety or worry, doubt, confusion. And Spirit is really, really wanting you to be at a place of peace. Okay. Um, the Shanti Angel is here. I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. I know cancer, like I was, I was lit for cancer season and I'm happy. I'm getting ready to take a trip for cancer season. So like, it's not over. Technically cancer season isn't over. Shout out to all the birthdays out there. Happy birthday cancers. But, um, it's, it's feeling kind of like cancer season wasn't giving everything it was supposed to give. I don't know. Maybe I'm just the only one that feels that way. And I feel like it's only because we're in this kind of waiting period between the old and the new, right? And so it's feeling like, especially when I'm this this lion is sticking out to me here, um, I feel like Leo season, Leo, the energy, Leo, and then the fire that's showing up here too in this no need to worry. I'm feeling like Leo season is that smoother road ahead, okay? So yeah, we got a little bit more time in cancer season and that's not to say, you know, cancer season still ain't the best season, okay? Um, but I just feel like that's when this smoother road that spirit is promising, um, you know, if you wanted to put some time on it. It feels like definitely Leo season because the lion is sticking out. But this um, definitely an energy of peace. Peace that needs a kind of blanket over you okay peace and tranquility let's get one more so that's what spirit is saying look you may have you may have been on a bumpy road you may have hit roadblock at the roadblock um pothole at the pothole like the the road was not that easy okay but <laughs> spirit is saying look i'm telling you you ain't even got to worry about going forward because it's gonna be smooth smooth um like new asphalt okay <laughs> let's pull one more message from your angels let's see what you're okay like what's going on though <laughs> I can't keep the um cards in my hand. One more message here for cancer. What do your angels really want us to know? That's just a lot. Give me one more. I did see prioritize self-care, and that's what I'm saying it with this anxiety. Um 
worry. It's like definitely you want to check in on your energy, protect your energy, okay? Nurture your energy. What does Cancer's Angels want us to know, Spirit? What do you want us Cancers to know? So we got your loved ones are safe. So yeah, you don't have to worry about your loved ones, okay? There may be something that you are feeling like you need need to have to support your loved ones or even just yourself your family but spirit is definitely telling you look let go of your fear and worry for your loved ones i am looking after them that's better that's better um eyes than you can have okay um you will manifest what you need and showing up here at the bottom of the deck so it's like whatever whatever it is that you feel that you need for yourself for your loved ones for your family however it's already on the way to you so instead of being worried about it not coming through or not showing up on time even because you know it's looking like a package and you know how sometimes amazon be delayed they be talking about two-day delivery but it don't be two days it's like you may be worried you know kind of um and it's always like that i've always noticed that i'm a little amazon person i can't even lie and let me tell you when i order something on amazon that i really really want and i'm like i'm anxious about it and i'm nervous that it won't show up on time like I, i'm kind of in that energy and putting it out into the atmosphere i guarantee you i'm a i'm a little powerful manifester because every time i'm in that space in that energy something happens with my um, delivery every time it's not and I know it's not coincidence but every time that I am not thinking about that package I'm just already expecting that it's showing up to me I'm not concerned I'm not you know worried about anything that's gonna happen between its arrival to me it always either shows up on time or even earlier like and I'm telling you all it Energy is a real thing, okay? <laughs> and it can show up even in the everyday mundane, mundane things just like that. So that's what I'm saying. When you have that energy of worry, stressing, it's just like if you were a bride and you were waiting for your wedding dress to come in the mail. Like, you're going to have some anxiety around it, especially if your big day is coming up and you're counting down. But it's like if you're not concerned, you're just in this energy of everything's taken care of. I am taken care of. I am safe. The road ahead is smoother. Like the situation will just kind of that's that's where I feel like you have to kind of let go of control too. But the situation will kind of evolve and play out for itself. Okay. Everything that you need will arrive, will show up on time. Okay. Yeah, because I feel like look, this eight of swords is here at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is your worry, your doubt, your fear keeping you stuck, stagnant, feeling like you don't have a way out. Um, but that's not the case, okay. So when you get this sense of peace, you can feel free. Let's just see what comes out in the tarot, though. Clarify this energy for cancer. So yeah, look, the Ten of Cups. Spirit is saying, look, this, this cycle is about to complete. We got the world showing up. And see, look, even here down in the um, corner is the Leo symbol. That's what I'm saying. I definitely feel like Leo season is going to be a different energy for us, Cancer. The Ten of Cups is showing up. Spirit is saying, look, no matter what, you will have emotional contentment. I do feel like someone is concerned about the well-being of their family, especially maybe um, children. If you have children, whether they're young, old, or in between, um... But you definitely, Spirit wants you to know that. And, and, and it's definitely heavy with this energy of cancer, like mother, you know, like, you know, mamas be uh, concerned about their babies um, or their, you know, whether they're babies or not. But that's the energy of where you don't have to worry about them. They're being taken care of. You're being taken care of. And I feel like this is fulfillment. Definitely a, a confirmation of fulfillment with this Ten of Cups showing up peace okay there's definitely peace showing up in this ten of cups clarify this energy for cancer so we got the devil showing up see you don't want <laughs> and i feel like the devil is this your negative thoughts you're chained by negative thoughts or bad habits and that can be preventing you from really seeing your rainbow really seeing your ten of cups all right, and see, there's this empress energy, that feminine energy, that mother vibe. That's what I'm saying. So someone could definitely, I don't know if someone's pregnant and concerned about the well-being of their, you know, the pregnancy. However, whatever it is around your child, um, they are okay. 
around your family your loved ones they are okay spirit is looking after them someone may be dealing with like a loved one that has addictions um or like really toxic behaviors that you are you know really wanting better for them with the devil showing up i feel like that yeah that energy too you could you could know someone that's connected to the wrong person something like that it's giving the vibe like you know um someone in your family is connected with someone that you know is just bringing them down or it's just not a it's not a conducive connection or relationship yeah with the devil it's like you're being held back And like I said, it can definitely be you being chained to your thoughts. But I'm definitely seeing the fire sticking out in um, this devil too. So I'm, I'm feeling this fire energy heavy. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio too. That Scorpio showed up in the, um, in the reading I did yesterday about a confession. Could be a Scorpio. So clarify the energy for Cancer. So we have the eight of wands. I feel like this is um, incoming communication towards you. Yeah, the knight of cups here at the bottom of the deck. So look, but no, um, definitely with this eight of wands too. And you see how, I love how in this deck, you the cancer the cancer in this deck i feel like is on a motorcycle too so i always see this in the eight of wands i see this as cancer riding by and it's like you are smooth sailing you're starting to move forward where like i said you may have ran into roadblocks or been stumbled along your path this road seems um open and free to you free of all of that right things are moving with the eight of wands movement okay moving quickly this could definitely even be um i feel like things manifest coming towards you like shooting towards you so knowing that the things that you're asking for that you're praying for that you're meditating on those things are coming to you it's like you may not even see them but they're going to arrive at the same place that you are at the same time so that's why i said don't get caught up in fear and thinking about you know what you don't see because that could definitely be it's like the you know the trickery of the devil. Don't get caught up in the illusions because things may not be what they seem either. Give me one more for cancer. Clarify this energy. I'm feeling heavy on the energy like someone's concerned about someone in their family, like their well-being. There could be like some type of abuse, um, alcohol abuse, drug abuse. Doesn't have to be that, but know that it's like you may have felt like you did everything you could do and it didn't work or it hasn't worked or whatever but know that you know you did your part and you the best thing that you can do is like kind of turn it over to spirit it's like know that know that your angels know that spirit that god is looking over them okay looking after them and that's the best care it's like because you can't be you can't be everything to everybody you can't be there all the time uh-oh The eight of swords with the three of swords try to slide out there so that's what i'm saying you you could be kind of feeling held back by fears by doubts by worries emotions even give me one more for cancer clarify this energy so the lovers wanted to show up too yeah ten of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck so i'm definitely feeling heavy on family or connection especially with the lover showing up here too but it's like look um this devil I, and i love that this devil and the lover showed up because it's really the very much opposite this is what you desire it's like this is the toxic side of the lovers right this is when you are led by and follow the guidance of spirit this is when you follow the guidance of your fears and make um decisions off that off those choices but see how the eight of wands is between it and showing you that you can go from this to this like it's almost juxtaposition so that's why they there's no need to worry. The Ten of Pentacles, I feel like there could be some um, uh, financial stability issues or something that you're concerned about with the Ten of Pentacles. We got the 10-10 showing up, right? 
But whatever that, whatever you're worried about, whatever you're concerned, I see it changing very quickly with this Eight of Wands. Cause it's like even too, somebody may be considering re, like rekindling, rekindling a connection with someone. And I do feel like there has been some type of change here. Clarify this eight of wands. See this eight of cups wanted to show up here. Okay. See, yeah, there could have been conflict between you and a loved one. There could have been conflict between you and a loved one. And for some reason, I feel like this loved one may have become relevant for some reason. But it for but for a good reason, because either there's healing in the situation or you're being moved into another partnership, I feel like here with the lover showing up. Um, doesn't have to be a romantic partnership for you. I feel like this is just your new life where you're emotionally and emotionally fulfilled. Okay, with the Ace of Cups, this is that new beginning. This is where um peace kind of befells you it's falling kind of all over you right this is what's coming in and it's coming from the divine this ace of cups a new beginning clarify this eight of wands one more time let's see it's like you manifest this yeah the Ten of Cups showed up. It's like whatever you're manifesting or whatever you feel as though you're needing, Spirit is letting you know it's already like it's already here. It's already here. Clarify this Eight of Wands or it's arriving to you very quickly. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Cancer. So we got the two of pentacles that showed up. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing the tens, y'all. So we got the ten of swords that showed up here. Ten of pentacles, ten of cups that showed up in the reading too. But the two of pentacles, that's where I felt like this energy of kind of going back and forth or feeling like something is 50-50. And you're, you're, concerned about, you're concerned about how it's going to play out with the two of pentacles. That's what I'm seeing in this energy. So hold on one second. Let's pull an additional message for Cancer. So the Eight of Wands, and that's funny, the Eight of Wands, Eight of Cups showed up here. Um, where there may have been stagnancy in your life, now the pace is picking back up, okay? So things are starting to pick back up, Cancer. You're ready to create change, whether in the form of communication or moving towards your plans or goals. Use this forward momentum to your benefit, okay? But don't force things that might not be ready for your experience. This creates resistance and slows down the momentum. That's what I'm telling you with that, with your energy, okay? Instead, take intuitive action as part of your co-creatorship with the universe and let the energy flow once again. So that's what I'm saying. It's um, It's like you have to... It's definitely time to create change where you may have been feeling stagnant or stuck stuck. You may have felt chained, okay, here, like um showing in the devil, but things are starting to pick back up. It's like, you know, um <clears throat> you went down for like a down season, but now it's 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 about to be peak season again. So you wanna use this energy to kind of I feel like too, you're gonna be juggling with the two of pentacles showing up. Mm. Yeah, you're going to have to be juggling some things here. But you've been on a long journey of self-discovery, okay? And you're walking away from that which no longer fulfills you or serves your best or highest self. So be gentle with yourself as you let your intuition guide you on your path, all right? Be gentle. Be at peace. Any And if, you, if there is some fear of rejection, know that rejection is merely just redirection. So honestly, it's nothing to fear, right? You're going to walk away from what you don't want or what isn't for you and walk into what you need, what you desire. Okay. What? Well, you may not even know that you desire it, but that's what I'm saying. It's like you're moving towards that. Let me pull one more though. So we have the double eight showing up. Just one more um, message here for cancer. What, what message do you have for Cancers, what do you want them to know right now, Spirit? 
So death showing up. Transformation is at the root of all endings, okay? While something in your life may have reached its natural conclusion, um, your journey continues continues opening you up to new possibilities. Don't be afraid to let go of the past so a, no, a new beginning can take shape. And that's what's happening here. It's like you're moving away from this toxicity. This is death, okay? This is like decaying. It, this has to change. And it's being transformed into the lovers. And take it. It doesn't have to be that it's a relationship for you. I know that you see two figures in the cards, but it does not have to be a relationship for you. Honestly, it could be the fact that it's you and kind of your higher self um, and how you interact and connect with your higher self. Um, reflect on your previous experiences. What are the lessons that you can carry to help you into the next cycle of your life? Because there's definitely a new one um, starting with this Ace of Cups. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups. Look, the lover is here at the bottom of the de um, deck again. So definitely I am seeing um, partnership or unity for someone for sure with this Ace of Cups. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Cancer. What is this new beginning for Cancer? The Nine of Pentacles. See, I'm definitely telling you, it's your, it's, it, you're going to love doing what you do, however you're doing it, because you're going to see rewards reflected back, okay? And so the Eight of Cups showed up here again. So yeah, you're having to let go. You may have felt abandoned. There may have been something that ended. Someone could even honestly be experiencing like real true physical death, okay? And it feels like, you know, it feels like rejection or it's grief, right? There may have been something that came to its natural end. The Ten of Swords, Eight of Cups, you're walking away from that, okay? Um, whether it even be an ideal or a truth, but the Nine of Pentacles definitely shows where um, there's achievement, okay, independence, and material security in this Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like definitely this could be a new uh, career for someone, a new fulfilling career. Clarify this Ace of Cups. Definitely could be a, a connection for someone who's been single or independent for um, a while, an extended period. Clarify the um, Ace of Cups. Look at that. It's a cup showed up here. So, yeah, um, this could even be here an emotional awakening, right? So, where you, it's like a shift spiritual, spiritually as you move to this new cycle of your life. Like I said, that I feel like starts in Leo season, okay? Um, a new source of creative insight, too. I feel like creative juices are going to flow and you're going to be able to work with other people to um, bring your vision to pass. So, it's like nothing to worry about. Yeah, but this King of Wands had to show itself. So there's that um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, that fire energy. And I'm saying definitely keep a look at the big picture, okay? I feel like there are going to be big or daring decisions that you're going to have to make coming up. That's why there's some contemplation in the Two of Pentacles. But you have the answer, Cancer, okay? I actually want to read the additional message here for the um, Shanti message. So, and then I'm going to close out the reading, I promise. Um, remember, it said, I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead, okay? You have been through turmoil and your soul is tired. Your mind craves peace and quiet, and I am here to help you with that desire. I will give you new opportunities to spend time alone where you can relax your mind and heart. I will bring you tranquility to your soul so that you can mirror the peace of mind that is your true divine nature, okay? Like the angels, you are able to hover within the eye of any hurricanes that may swirl around you right now. So any any typhoons you feel like you're feeling, any chaos, okay, any of these storms, you can still have peace in the middle of it, all right? Through breath and intention, you can stay centered no matter what's happening in your life. This inner foundation of peace has a powerful healing effect. Your outer life soon reflects your inner peacefulness, all right? Smooth roads are ahead for you and the worst is behind you now. A peaceful outcome to the situation is assured, okay? So you will, whatever happens or has happened, you will eventually have peace about the situation. You're going to see how it works out for your good. You're going to see how um, it changed you, how it transformed you, how it gave you a new a new start, a new beginning, okay? So smooth the roads ahead, Cancer. I, for one, am excited to hear that, okay? 
But yeah, I'm going to leave the reading here, you guys. I really hope that it resonates for someone and you found it helpful in some way. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I would absolutely love to have you a part of the um, Vibe Tribe, you guys. Be aware of the scammers in the comments, okay? Please do block and report. I'm not going to solicit any of my services, but you can check them out at bossladybtarot.com. In the meantime, in between time, until next time. Love ya!